Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Diggs showing you uh, Windows 10 technical preview. Um, this is build 141, or 10,041, I should say. Um, yeah, I've got this preview for a little while, but I'm finally using it. I put it on my main computer and um, gave it a shot. I'm going to show you guys some of the newer features I've found on here and uh, let you check it out for yourselves. Um, number one, you'll notice a couple things, you know, like uh, different icons and whatnot. See how this one's a little bit different than the others. And um, you'll notice right here you have the Ask Me Anything with the microphone down there. Uh, that's Cortana. Um, I'll show you her in a minute. And then you have down here in the taskbar. Um, this one right here is not loading, but that is Windows Defender for some reason. I've noticed a couple bugs Windows is going to have to fix. Um, I've been giving them the feedback, so we'll see if they'll they'll catch on to it. And this is a new one. This is the notifications now. This is a different icon, pretty much the same thing, but it does open up differently now. So, you know, it shows me everything, everything I have going on essentially everywhere on my computer. Downloads everything. All right, they even have this new cool thing, tablet mode. Um, this is for the touchscreen computers, and that's going to be pretty interesting. Um, I have the Surface and I have a Sony touchscreen uh, two-in-one so I'm not ready to put this on them yet but we'll see when uh, we get a little bit more stable running everything working type stuff going here uh, Media Connect is just uh, you know showing you you can you know extend let me see I'll extend I don't think I have anything to connect to so yeah searching for devices I don't have anything that's going to connect wirelessly in that way even though my smart TVs do let you know let me do certain things, you see it messed up there. <laughs> so we're just gonna not mess with that for the time being. Um, what else was here? All settings brings you to the new. I guess this is still considered Metro Windows, but it's a little different. But you see, you have everything here. It's nice and clean. This is like the control panel now because I haven't been able to find the control panel. So, you come here, and it's just going to be everything. You see, I even have an update. Um, nothing new. I was just seeing if it was a new build. No, just some security updates. Hopefully, it's some of the, the fixes that the computer is having some issues on. So, you see, I have my Bluetooth. I have everything else working. Um, I even have games running on this. And it's working pretty well. The, I'm noticing some bugs in some of the Windows 8 apps, but... I'm sure they'll work those out. So let me show you this. This is the new start menu. Now, if you're familiar with Windows 8, this is essentially Metro's Metro's 8 window. They this made it small. Me personally, I'm a fan of the you know the old Windows 8 start menu. So they still have it here. You just expand start, and bam, you have it back. It's still customizable. Everything like you had before. You know, like right here, I can just come in here, type in entertainment. And then that's going to be there now. I think I can even move the whole group. No, I can't. That I could. All right. So you have that. Um, you notice here you have the new store beta. Now these three apps, for whatever reason, didn't install, and it says it won't install. Don't know. Maybe some kind of bug. We'll see. Um, Xbox is being really integrated into this, as well as this Cortana. Now Cortana is pretty cool. It's completely voice activated once you set it up. I have it set up, and it's pretty much <laughs> like uh, you know PlayStation or you know any of these voice activated things. So you know you can just be like, "Hey Cortana," and she'll answer you. She's not doing it now because I think I'm using my mic for this. Hey Cortana, play music. Okay, shuffling your music. And you see, she'll sit there and repeat. Oh yeah, motherfucker. That's that shit. I got a uh, plenty of music, so just it, it in the library and play. Um, oh, let me let me show you because this is one of the bugs, but I'll show you one one time. Hey Cortana, play music. Hey there, Fernando. She messed up there. Hey Cortana, play music. Play music. Okay. Playing your music. Still not 100% flawless. Yet. 
If I say, hey Cortana, stop music. Pausing. She'll try, but it just resets the song, so that's uh, hopefully something they fix. But it, it's getting me. Um, I haven't really been able to find anything else she can do that's working. Like everything I ask her, she's like, check back for an update, check back for an update. But I found that she can play music. That's about it so far. And she can do se searches, you know. Hey Cortana. Hey Cortana. What's tonight's basketball game? Any basketball scores? Nicely, she's not even listening. It's really buggy, so. Hey Cortana. Who won last night? Who won last night? Let me see, it just, I mean, it's doing searches and stuff, but I don't even know if there was a game on last night, to be honest with you, I was just asking. I know Google, uh, Google search can do that, so I was putting this one to the test. It failed, but I'm sure they'll get that fixed. Um, the other thing you'll notice here, too, is task view. So if you have multiple things open, it's going to show you them all here. So you have Windows Media Player, and this is my video recording software. And you can even open up different desktops. Now, this, this is pretty cool. So... You know, I can make, this is my normal desktop, I can make a whole new desktop where there's nothing going on. Or, and then I can make another one where, you know, I'm playing a video game. You know, watch, let me show you. So you see, I got, you know, this one open. Let me open up Steam Picture Mode. Actually, no, I'll leave it right here for now. So if I come here, instead of this being open, I click on desktop and it brings me back over here. And you see these are, uh, every time you use something new, it asks you how you like it. I come back here, it shows me my music. So you can have different desktops. It's pretty cool. It's, uh, st I'm still learning them all myself, but, you know, I'll, I'll get them down. I'll show you how to use these features a little bit more in-depthly. And once again, back to the start. You have all that there. Um, pretty much the same stuff if you had Windows 8, Windows 7. It's a bit of an upgrade. So that's all the same. And let me just take you to my computer to show you the, um, guess the differences so you, you notice right away all the different logos they they change the icons everything so it's pretty much the same nothing really different just kind of cleaned up now like I said I didn't find the uh, control panel all you can find is open settings open settings is the new control panel and that's where you'll, you'll find everything you need right there all right, so um, if you guys want me to show you anything else, just ask. I'll, I'll try to show you anything else I have on here, but this is pretty much the base of it. Anything else cool I find, I'll definitely pass along. Oh, let me just show you Xbox heads, how this works. I don't have an Xbox uh, 360 or Xbox One. I have a couple friends that play on here, but you don't really need an Xbox because you have a computer. <laughs> I mean... With Windows 10, they're going to be integrating everything because the Xbox did so poorly, so they're just going to make it so you can use your computer. And you see, I got a couple friends on here. Shout out to Puffman, shout out to Sinuous. And, you know, you can take a look at all their activities if they're doing a live stream. Like, if I, I can come over here, Puffman, I know he he does some, uh, he does some recording. So, I'm sorry, I'm still learning how to use this stuff. So yeah, you see, I, I'll come, I can come here, open up his gameplay, it shows me his gameplay, just like I was on Xbox. This wasn't too so. Looks like you getting beat right there, I don't know what's showing off here, what this kid is supposed to show off. Just he was showing off that dunk. <laughs> C plus go, no dunk. Yeah, but you see, uh, full Xbox capabilities, just not the games yet. But from what they're all saying, it's gonna be, it's gonna be all games. So you can be able to stream your Xbox here. I actually can do that right now. Um, if I, I don't have an Xbox, so I'm sinuous. Wanted to try the other day. I forgot to ask him. But you just type in the IP address, connect to, and it's supposed to let you take control of it. So that should be pretty interesting. Oh, I forgot to show you this too. This is the new store. Um, store beta. It's essentially the same as the old Windows Store, just newer, but 
I mean, still missing a lot of apps. You still don't have Google apps. You still don't have a lot of stuff. But what I'm guessing is that they're going to integrate this with whatever store that uh, Xbox uses, so you can buy you know digital content games, all that right on here, and you'll be able to play that and connect with people playing on the Xboxes for whatever reason using that 720p graphics card versus you know me on this one. I'm I got a 4K TV connected to this computer. I also have this one, so you know I can either play on this one or I can play on my I don't know what this is. My 4K is not connected right now, but that's whatever that thing is. I can play on that. But right now I'm running 1920 by 1200 on this screen. So, and you know, graphics cards, everything's pretty good for the same price as an Xbox. Right, let me just show you here too, just so you can see what we're working with properties. So you see, it's the Windows 10 Tech Preview. It's the build 1041, uh, sorry, th uh, 10,041, and you know that's what I'm running with, and essentially what we got. All right. Any other questions? Any other things you guys want to see? I'll try to find out for you. I'll try to put it on here. Let me know, and I'll get it on you, and I'll uh, try to keep you up in these builds. It looks like it's almost uh, fully done and ready to go. We just got to get these last. Well, they got to get these last few bugs out of here. And it'll be good to go. Let me just show you how these apps too work. Um, Sorry, I was going to end it there, but I forgot to show you how the, if you're familiar with Windows 8 and how it ran, you know, you used to run in two different systems, essentially, Metro mode or regular mode, so it still has that, but it's a little different. So if I open up Netflix, you see, instead of opening up to a whole different screen, it opens up like this. And, my, sorry, my nephew was watching some shows earlier. And uh, you can see, you know, it runs the same way. You can make it full screen, open it up right here, you have all your options make it small screen again and you can close it you can also have uh, you have also have this where they you know we used to be able to put half the screen one app and then the other screen this side you can still do that you just go to you know cascade windows or you know whatever one you want and you can adjust them the way you want so technically I can have Netflix playing in a small box let me just try that out real quick I'm gonna try more adult content though <laughs> Go to little league here. Flush down the toilet. Oh, Don't invite me to join there. LinkedIn. It just reeks of stuff. dudes with cell phone holsters. But I used the app and whatnot. What hey. Where am I? Nothing happened. You're fine. Do we all agree to these changes? Yes. Sure. Yeah. Say I. So I'm well. bored. Okay. Oh, yeah, like I said, else let's go draft. Thank you. Hey. All right. Get your board, Dad. Talk to y'all later.